What Donald Trump is doing is totally out of control. Ron Wyden on the Senate floor late Tuesday. Oregon's senior senator is denouncing the presence of federal officers on Portland streets, a directive from President Trump himself. His secret police are terrorizing my friends and neighbors. At a press conference Tuesday afternoon, the acting Secretary of Homeland Security said it's the other way around. According to Chad Wolf, protesters, not all, but some, are terrorizing the federal police. These individuals carry lasers, baseball bats, explosive fireworks, metal pipes, glass bottles, accelerants, and other weapons, all targeting federal facilities and federal law enforcement. Wolf says because city leaders and local police are doing very little, if anything, to end the violence, the feds have no choice but to respond. And what is occurring in, in Portland in the early hours of every morning is not peaceful protesting. Dozens of coordinated arrests have been made, many off federal property and by officers in unmarked vehicles. To anybody who has a problem with that, the acting commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection says, get over it. The use of unmarked vehicles is a standard procedure, a standard practice among every local, state, and federal law enforcement agency in this country, actually in the world. It's nothing new. Donald Trump's doing this to create an image of chaos. Back on the Senate floor in our nation's capital, Senator Wyden is pleading with lawmakers to intervene and help get the feds out of the Rose City. This kind of abusive exercise of power by a rogue president would have horrified our founding fathers. Elected officials are weighing in on the comments made by Chad Wolf and his colleagues. Oregon Governor Kate Brown says if the Trump administration was really interested in problem solving or public safety, they would be focused on reducing the confrontation and retraining their officers. It's clear, however, that they are only interested in political theater. As for Mayor Wheeler, he says the federally directed intervention is unwelcome and it escalated tensions to new levels. One more thing worth mentioning, we were not made aware of Chad Wolf's press conference, so there was no way of calling in and asking questions of our own. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.